Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Abdullah Azam Mahrajan. So today I will present to you our product which is Gravity Charger product. First and foremost, how we have came up in an idea to make this gravity charger. Problem is when to encounter first is if your phone is out of battery, you need to bring power back anyway. That your battery phone capacity is too low, about uh, maybe about 2000 mAh or something, and you can find to any charging port in the middle of somewhere. So that's the problem that we want to encounter by with this gravity charger. Actually, what we are working on is we converting the gravity power into electrical power by using an alternative power of gravity. Despite we using wind, solar, and hydrogen energy. Because it's a green product and it's never emit any chemical hazard into the surround. The first objective of this project is to design and fabricate a functional product of gravity charger that is easy to handle and execute, which means should be suitable for everybody to use it easily. The second one is to design a mechanism that can use in time when they are probably to have access to charging phone. For example, when you forgot to bring your power bank and battery is in low condition, is the solution for you. and greetings to all. My name is Sohaila bin Subar and I will explain detail related to parts and analysis for our gravity charger. For the parts drawing, there are 24 parts to build out this gravity charger and this is the exploded drawing for the charger resulting to this assembly. For the body, body there is roof, housing, base, door handle, USB plug, base power motor, and phone stand. For the mechanism setup, uh, there is load shaft that mounted to the load with load handle, two set of pulley shaft, one clamper, and one electrical wire. Next, the mechanism stand off, two set of pulley with V-belt, shaft holder, bearing, planetary gear, coupling, and motor with motor spacer. Next is the simulation. So you may wonder how this charger works and how the mechanism works. So let's see this video. To operate this charger, the load is pulled up to the designated height. As the load falls down, there is a vertical pulley which acts as driver pulley will move along the load and drive driven pulley to move with the same speed. Driven pulley then move the planetary gear, which resulting the motor to rotate and produce electricity to the USB plug adapter. That is how our gravity charger works. Moving on to structural analysis, this is the free body diagram of the load and pulley. To find the acceleration of the pulley, summation of force reacted on right axis are calculated and left out tension force to be calculated. With tension, we can find the torque acted on the pulley and derive the formula and simplify it to this formula. With this formula, we can calculate the moment of inertia and insert the mass and gravitational force with radius of the shaft in the formula and resulting to 38.47 radius per second squared. As the result from previous calculation, is in radian per second unit, we need to change the unit into RPM. Then we calculate the gear ratio and we get the output speed of the gear. That's all for me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Timmy He and I will continue the presentation with material selection. Here is our material selection for our product. For the first one is titanium alloy. Titanium alloy is the stronger metal which has the highest compressive strength. For the aluminium, stainless steel, and cast iron, they have same material properties which is lightweight and strong. This is because they have low density and high compressive strength. They also have high pressure toughness, which is they able to hold the heavy weight without breaking the part. Next, we also use brass material in our product. This is because brass has good corrosion resistance and low friction. For the plastic, we use polylactite. It is because polylactite is lightweight and is suitable for USB plug adapter cover. For the nylon, it is resistant to heat and cold and it's also 
strong and lightweight. For the last one is the copper. Copper is used in electric components such as wiring and motor. This is because it can conduct heat and electric very well. Is that the material that we use in the product to hem to element? Let's see the sustainability analysis for the product. Life cycle assessment is used as a tool to assess the element impact of the product through its life cycle. This is start from raw material, manufacturing process, transportation, use, and for the last one is end of the life. Here is the result of the sustainability analysis for the material. Most of the material that we use is stainless steel. Stainless steel is a green product which is, does not contain with any toxic material and is also able to be recycled. For the manufacturing, the product is, does not produce high waste and is also user-friendly and more convenient to the user. Plus, this is three components which has high carbon footprint which it will help to environment impact. However, this carbon footprint can be reduced by changing the material or the manufacturing process. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Norfi Kalia. Today, I will be presenting the manufacturing process to produce this gravity charger. Okay, the process, this is the process flow. The process starts from the raw material and it goes to the shaping process. This is the shaping process. Next is the joining process where we want to join the parts. And lastly is the finishing process. This is our full product. Okay, next I will explain the main process that we use in this project, in this part. Uh, the first is casting process. When a molten metal is poured into a high speed rotating mold until solidification takes place. When the melting is finished, the molten steel is cast into semi-finished forms. This process is to make the component parts of gravity charger. Next is injection molding process. The granules of polymer material are heated and then forced under pressure using a screw into the die cavity. Yes, to the screw. Meanwhile, on cooling, a rigid part or tree of parts is produced. This process is to produce the V-belt pulley part. Next is the forging process. When hot metal is formed into the required shape by the application of pressure or impact, forces causing the plastic deformation using a press or hammer in a single or a series dies. This process is to produce the desired shape of a gravity charger part. Next is the milling process. The removal of material by chip processes using a multiple point cutting tools of various shapes to generate the flat surfaces or profiles on a workpiece of irregular or irregular section. This uh, milling process is to make a hole at the sides of the rectangular by using process of a double enmy cutter. This is an example of enmy cutter tool. Lastly, Lastly is the turning process. Turning generates external surfaces of revolution by removing material from a rotating workpiece with a single tip cutting tool. The workpiece is scraped in a chuck mounted in a lathe that provides the rotary motion. This process turns the component in a circular shape. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dan selamat sejahtera. My name is Muhammad Shazwan Nobi Mazlan. I will present about the cost and estimation part. This is our material used for this product. Our material has been chosen by the using material selection table. And the, the material consists of egg material, which is titanium alloy, aluminum, stainless steel, brass, cast iron, nylon, copper, and plastics. So if we go to the, our cost and estimation, our fixed cost consists of water bills, electricity bills, brand of the company, maintenance on the machine, and the total of our fixed cost is around 71,740 ringgit and then our variable cost consists of our product of each component our part of each component such as base, motor, planetary gear and the total of our variable cost is about 460 ringgit then we calculate the production manufacturing cost per unit by using our by using total variable cost uh, times weight Assumption unit per month plus with total fixed cost. Uh, we assume that 300 unit will be produced per month. Then we will get about 699 ringgit and 13 cent per unit for one product. Then we put profit margin about 15% for our product. Then the, the selling price should be 804 ringgit. So the unit contribution that we get is selling price minus variable cost 804 ringgit minus 460 ringgit and then we will get 344 ringgit 
344 ringgit will is the price that can be cover our total fixed cost. And then the seven, seven step is break even analysis. Break even analysis is the formula is fixed cost divided by unit contribution and we get around 208.55 which can be around about 209 units. This means that 209 units should be sold to break even. And the right side is the our fixed cost table and our variable cost of the product. Now I will explain to you about the our product enhancement. First, at the left of the side is a all our old design, and the right side is a, our new design. Which uh there are a few uh characteristics that we have improved. Firstly, uh added of the housing. When that housing we can withstand about one hundred and fifty kilogram of egg load. When we increase the thickness and its material, we use something stronger material, which is the housing also can protect the inside components such as the gear and the motor. So uh, next, we added the door, which means to easier the maintenance and services of the charging itself. And next, the height of the housing is decreased so for the suitable height for equipment, where we want to increase the ergonomy so more friendly. And uh, we also add the front stand at the left of the door for facing our phone. The last thing adding as an extra position is a couple. For the conclusion, we hope this charging station capable of providing a quick charge option to the user that will be create a positive vibe experience to this outdoor location. This uh, product usually is uh, suitable for the community that uh, usually do outdoor activities such as a beach, garden, shopping mall, and we hope this product will help the community to keep touch and stay connected. Last but not least, the estimate cost product is about 700 and something.